Lizzie with us. These are the eight-month-old twins, Bobby and Phoebe. And also here this morning is Steve Ball of the Rugby League Benevolence Fund. Good morning to both of you. Thanks for coming in. I mean, Lizzie, such a difficult time for you. And I can't believe that you're going to be going out there and, and singing. But it's, it's something that's really important for you to do this, isn't it? Yeah, really, really important. I, I don't know where to begin saying thank you to people, um, the Rugby mm. League community. And everyone around me has just been absolutely amazing. And this is my way of saying thank you to everybody. It's such a tough thing for you, isn't it? It came mm -hmm. such a bolt from the blue. Yeah. And then with your little ones so young, mm -hmm. it's very brave of you to come and speak to us about it all together. How has it been trying to deal with them and make sure that their dads are part of their lives, even though they're so little? It's really, it's, it's been really easy to make sure he's part of their life because he was just so special and he's just mm. left such a huge legacy for them. Um, and I'm just going to make sure that they know everything about him for the rest mm. of their lives. Mm. There we go. And listen, you know, it's something that you now believe that all rugby players should be screened for this because yeah. of what yeah. happened. Yeah. I mean, you know, what, what's been the system up until now? Only certain players get it, but you, but you were calling for that to be more widespread. Yes, so um, Super League players, um, it's compulsory for, those, for them to have the test, but the two leagues below, which is Championship and Championship 1, um, it was just recommended yeah. that they had the screening, whereas now it's compulsory. Um, these players in the leagues below work full-time and play, train three yeah. nights a week and play on a Sunday for 80 minutes so that, you know, they really, really do need this testing. But it's so much further spread than Rugby League. It's, mm. it's, it's everywhere. Mm. Um, 15 people die a week in the UK of an undiagnosed heart condition. Mm. Um, and there are opportunities everywhere to be tested if you're worried, yeah. if you have in the family, anywhere, you know, you need to go and get yourself tested. And it's really shocking that people can, can have this and just not yeah. know about it. Yeah, Danny, it? Danny was so fit, so healthy. I thought mm. it were made of steel. And